In this tutorial, we are focusing on the ribbon. The ribbon is where many different functions of Excel can be accessed. The ribbon is arranged into different groups which all contain related functions. These groups are separated by different tabs. This is the Home tab. This is the tab that you will probably spend the most time on. The Home tab contains most basic functions such as textile, borders, alignment, cell formatting, and more. This is the Insert tab. The Insert tab is a tab you would select if you were to want to insert something into your worksheet. In this tab you can insert images, charts, clip art, shapes, arrows, text boxes, word art, equations, symbols, and more. Most of these items you insert in Excel will not be inserted in, into an individual cell, but instead will be inserted on top of the worksheet and can be dragged wherever you would like. This is a page layout tab. This tab is where you would make changes to the overall appearance of your Excel worksheet. Here you can change the styles of your worksheet, add a background image, adjust printing options, margins, orientation, and more. This here is a formulas tab. You would use the formulas tab to look up and insert formulas, name a cell range, access the formula auditing tool, and control the way that Excel performs calculations. This is the data tab. This tab is where you would go to access Excel data related commands. And this is the review tab. In the review tab, you can access tools such as spell check, translate words, add comments, research topics, and more features related to reviewing your work. Here we have the View tab. The View tab contains various options that allow you to change the way your worksheet is viewed. There is also a tab labeled the Developer tab. The Developer tab is not visible by default. This tab contains items that are useful for programmers. To access the Developer tab, you must click on File, then select Options. To you select Options, you click on Customize Ribbon, and on the right of the dialog box, you will check the box next to where it says Developer.